In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be to him forever. Amen. I want to speak about uh, self-defense and how important it is to be able to protect ourselves against evil. We must protect our hearts from evil thoughts and passions and works of the flesh. Our, we have to protect our minds from evil thoughts, evil desires, things that try to creep into us, things that is in us that is not uh, pleasing to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have to guard against uh, evil spirits, demons, devils, fallen angels, antichrist spirits, any spirit that would try to keep us uh, away from the Orthodox Church, the Holy Orthodox Church, the One True Church, and especially any spirit that would keep us from receiving the Holy Orthodox Eucharist, the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ in the Orthodox Church. There are spirits in the world that reject the Orthodox Church, reject the teachings of the fathers of the Orthodox Church, reject the holy canonical apostolic succession of the Orthodox Church. There are spirits that are demons, devils, antichrist spirits, unbelievers, who, as they took our Lord Jesus Christ and beat on him and whipped him and scourged him and drove nails into his hands and feet and who put a crown of thorns on his head and mocked him and made fun of him and blindfolded him, punched him in the face and said, prophesy to us, who hit you? And they spit on him. They did various terrible things and then crucified him in the most cruelest possible, most painful way they could, nailing him to a cross. And then after he had given up his, his spirit, when he said on the cross, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Remember that there was a soldier there, a Roman soldier who took a spear that was about two, approximately two feet long. And instead of the soldiers coming and breaking the legs of Jesus, as they did many others, they decided to take that spear that was two feet long and stick it through the heart of Jesus. And the minute that that spear went all the way through the body of Jesus into his heart, immediately it is written that blood and water came gushing out. So this shows the violence of people, okay? This shows the actual violence of people that live in this world, okay? Violent people, unbelievers, the Jewish people that rejected Jesus and the Messiah, they were the ones as unbelievers uh, when Pilate and Pontius Pilate said, what would you have me do with, with your king, Jesus? They replied, we have no king but Caesar. And then they began to shout at the top of their voices, crucify him, crucify him. They wanted Jesus to be crucified. And Pontius Pilate said, I am innocent of this man's blood. Let his blood be on your hands. You want him killed. You want him crucified. Then let his blood be on your hands. I am innocent of this man's blood. That was the heart of unbelievers. And these unbelievers, these human beings, these these evil, wicked human beings, Jesus said to them, you are the children of the devil and you'll do what your father makes you do. He was a murderer from the beginning. 
and you are the children of Satan. You're the children of the devil. They blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. They spoke against the Holy Spirit. They said that Jesus was casting out demons, uh, not by God's spirit, but by the devil, by the chief of devils, Beelzebul. And all of those, those uh, unbelievers began to say to Jesus, are we not right in saying you have a demon? And Jesus said, I do not have a demon. He said, if I cast out demons by the finger of God, then surely the finger, then surely the kingdom of God has made its way to you. And this is exactly what's happening in the world today by these unbelievers. We see the violence. We see the violence happening in the world. We see these unbelievers, these mockers, these slanderers. We see them. They're all around, everywhere. We see the violence on the news. We hear about it all the time. So much evil people living in such violence. They're seeking constantly to who they can rob, who they can steal, who they can kill. And it was Jesus, our Lord, who said that the devil was a murderer from the beginning. He called the unbelievers children of the devil. And he said to them to speak a word against the Holy Spirit. This sin is never forgiven, not in this life, nor in the next. When you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, read this in the Bible, search it for yourself. When you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, when you begin to say that the Orthodox Church is not the body of Christ, when you begin to call Orthodox priests who give baptism and chrismation and give the, the mysteries of the church, the Holy Communion, the body and blood of Christ to people who are baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. When you begin to say that, that these things are not coming from Jesus, from the Holy Spirit, you are guilty of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. And there is no forgiveness for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And that is exactly what these unbelievers, these children of the devil did. They blasphemed against the spirit inside of the Lord Jesus Christ. They blasphemed against the spirit, the Holy Spirit. They spoke against the Holy Spirit in the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what these unbelievers today are doing the same thing. They're trying to say that the Orthodox Church or the Orthodox priest, an Orthodox priest is doing things uh, that is man's religion. You're calling the Orthodox Church man's religion. You're saying that that these things uh, that, that the Orthodox Church does or, or priest, that, that it's not the Holy Spirit. How many times have I heard so many unbelievers and antichrist people say to me that the things that I was saying, the things which I was doing was not coming from the Holy Spirit, but they literally said that it's coming from the devil. These are people guilty of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. There is no forgiveness in this earth or in the life to come for them ever. No forgiveness for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So when these people, these antichrist people, these unbelievers, when these unbelievers come to go to war against us, when they come to fight us, not only with their words or with their spirit or with their mouths or, or, or try to fight us with, with uh, things that they do to us, 
attacking us and social media and things like that. These people, like Jesus said, the devil, the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And Jesus said, don't be afraid of men. Don't be afraid that they can only kill your body, but after that, they can do nothing to you. But I'll tell you who you should be afraid of. Fear God. Because after God has killed your body, he has the power to cast your body and your soul into hellfire for the rest of eternity. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. Amen, amen. Be very afraid of him. Afraid of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are living in a violent world of unbelievers, of antichrist, of people who have already taken the mark of the beast. That 666 is inside their head, in their brain. Jesus said, you will know them by their fruits. The tree is known by its fruit. A good tree does not bring forth bad fruit. And a bad tree does not bring forth good fruit. Whoever is not connected to the vine, to Jesus, literally to Jesus, is a branch that is cut down, tied in bundles, and thrown into the fire. So all of these people in Islam, all of these people that call themselves Christians, and they speak against us, Orthodox priests, they speak against us, they war against us, they fight against us, they mock us, they slander us, they try to ruin our credibility, they try to speak against us. People that come fighting against me can only be but one person the devil so when the devil comes to fight against me am I going to show mercy to Satan am I going to show love and compassion to demons am I going to forgive the antichrist and those who are marked with the 666 am I going to forgive Satan of the evil he has done so that Satan can someday go to heaven? Is there a place in the kingdom of God in heaven for Satan? No, there is not. Is there a place for those who have taken the mark of the beast? Is there a place for them in heaven? No, there is not. Is there a place for the people in this world who attack the Orthodox Church, the body of Christ, while they call themselves Christians, saved, and claim to have even the Holy Spirit, while they attack priests and reject the Orthodox Church? Is there a place in the kingdom of God in heaven for those Satanists? Absolutely not. So if they come to attack me, whether it be through social media or through slander or through any kind of way, spiritually, mentally, speaking against me, warring against me, fighting against me, or physically, then I have to defend Christ. I have to defend Christ spiritually. I have to defend Christ in me with the sword of my mouth. I have to have the armor of God on, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, my loins girt about with the belt of truth, my feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I have to come with the armor of God against these antichrists, against these satans, against these fallen angels, demons, and devils. And just as I defend my faith and Christ in me, I too defend the Orthodox Church and our Orthodox faith that I was baptized and chrismated in, I too must defend and fight even physically against any devil or evil spirit or antichrist person 
or 666 person who comes to do me bodily harm. Is there ever a day that I will forgive Satan? No, there never will be. Is there ever a day that I would absolve the sins of an antichrist? Never, never, never will there ever be a time that I will forgive the sins and the offenses of those who have taken the mark of the beast and are cast down into the second death, the lake of fire? Absolutely not. You people got to wake up. But who am I speaking to? More unbelievers, more antichrist. Can I tell the antichrist to wake up? Can I tell the devils to wake up? Can I tell those who take the mark of the beast, 666, to wake up? What are they going to wake up to? When they are doomed for the rest of eternity to be thrown into the lake of fire in the second death. What can they wake up to? What can you wake up to when you're already being thrown into the second death, the lake of fire by God's holy angels? How many of you unbelievers are being thrown into the second death, the lake of fire right now? How many of you antichrist unbelievers, you Satanist are being thrown right now, right now into the second death, the eternal punishment, the eternal lake of fire that burns with sulfur and brimstone where the worms never die and the fires never go out. It's happening all over the world right now. God's holy angels are taking you and taking your body, soul, and spirit out of this world, out of this life, and taking and throwing you into the second death, the lake of fire. Just like God's holy angels are taking so many souls into heaven, those who are being baptized and chrismated Orthodox, and they love the Orthodox Church. They love the Orthodox saints. They love coming to the liturgy and receiving the body and the blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. The angels are surrounding them. The angels are blessing them. The angels are crying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. The holy cherubim and the holy seraphim praising God without ceasing, shouting hallelujah. Really? All you antichrist, all you unbelievers, all those who fight against the Orthodox Church and Orthodox priests, and all of you so-called Orthodox Christians that are attacking me because you too have gone into apostasy, all of you new calendar heretics, you apostates, you've been given over to a reprobate mind by the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You too are being sent by the angels into the second death, the lake of fire, because you're attacking me who has been baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the Orthodox Church, been chrismated in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit into the Orthodox Church. You are fighting against the Lord, as Jesus himself said, whatever you do to the least of these, my brethren, you do it unto me. It is Jesus whom you are attacking, Jesus whom you are fighting against, and it is the same Jesus who is sending angels to you, plaguing you with plagues, the holy angels with their golden vials, their golden bowls, emptying out the wrath of God upon you. One plague after another, one catastrophic event, apocalyptic event after another, illness, sicknesses, diseases, maladies, infirmities, death and destruction being poured out by holy angels of God all over you unbelievers, antichrist, all of you have taken the mark of the beast and all you so-called orthodox Christians that are speaking and warning, fighting against me, trying to slander me and ruining my credibility. You are all being taken by God's holy angels into the second death, the lake of fire. Everywhere you are, all of you, it's happening now and you'll see my word come to pass. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.